All right, thank you everybody for your patience. Um, Roland has left us to do other things, so I'm taking over from him on track six here. And uh, I have with me uh, Ruben, who's uh, ready and waiting to talk to us. Uh, Hello, everyone. <laughs> how are you doing today? Fine. Yes, what's a hectic day today. Well, it's really good to <laughs> have a time now to enjoy Malticon. Excellent, excellent, good stuff. So um, I am uh, going to leave you to present and back out. Uh, there is uh, a question and answer, which I hope is showing up on the platform already. Uh, so if anyone has any questions, um, you can get to that through Vietly. Uh, um, and so, yeah, over to you, Ruben, if you want to share your slides. Yeah, thank you, Greg. Uh, okay. I guess I'm sharing my Screen. I hope that everybody can see it, right? Uh, I hope so. Yes, can you see my slides now? Maybe I can do this. Present. Yep. Uh, yeah, I hope that you can see them now. Yeah, hopefully. Just confirm if you can't see them so I can do something. Okay, cool. So welcome to Malticon. I hope that, I hope that you are enjoying the other, uh, the other sessions, really interesting sessions, nice speakers, and really good that this could happen even with the given circumstances, right? But it's still, you know, technology works in favor to us. So we're making a really good use of technology these days, you know, unifying people, you know, through, uh, you know, the magic of uh, video conferences. Cool. Okay, so we are gonna talk today uh, uh, how we use Mautic uh, as part of our recruitment uh, process uh, in, in Drupal. Um, I'm going to introduce myself quickly. I'm Ruben Tejero. I'm a co-founder of the Drupal. So um, it's a, now it's a group of companies. It started as a small agency, but now we are like a, a group, like a group of companies uh, with a headquarters in Sweden. Um, I'm, uh, you know, former Drupal hero, let's say. I'm still active in the Drupal community, but not as active as I want. But then on the other side, I'm becoming a little bit more act active in the Mautic community uh, since I fell in love with Mautic almost four years ago. Four, five, five years ago, yeah. So I'm also an amateur surfer, uh, trying my best, you know, surfing not just the web, but also waves. Uh, you can find me in, the, in Twitter or in other social media as Artejero. And also, it was supposed that Salud uh, was co-presenting this session with me, but uh, for some personal reasons, she couldn't make it. Uh, so I'm going to try to do my best to presenting, you know, the, the part that she, she, she had for this presentation. So she's a SEO SM PEPC consultant. Uh, she has been doing wonders in, with Mautic with us in Drupal. She did a really, really good job. Uh, uh, she's uh, a Mautic heroine for us. You know, she's always proactively solving every problem that we have in the company regarding Mautic and uh, loves cats and dogs. So you can find her in the, her uh, website down there. So as I mentioned, Drupal Group is our company. Uh, we are a distributed, remote, and diverse company. We have a, a, we are operating at the moment in eight different countries, and we have presence in, in three continents at the moment. Uh, and we are open source advocates. We do not just use open source software, but we also contribute uh, to the projects and the communities. Uh, you can have a look at the, our new website, uh, jupalgroup.com. We, as I said, we are growing as a group of companies. And uh, as I mentioned, we love Mautic. Mautic is one of the key things that we use to operate uh, regarding not just marketing, you know, like uh, email, uh, you know, and other, you know, campaigns. It, that's not just what we are using Mautic for. We also use Mautic for uh, our recruitment process. 
as I mentioned, uh, for recruiting, what we actually did, uh, you know, uh, is uh, develop a, a, a custom application in Drupal that is for managing uh, processes. We call it Umanage, and you recruit is one of the processes that we created using uh, mostly the Drupal standard API and. Uh, and you know, and the, all the tools and the infra, uh, content architecture and entity management uh, uh, that Drupal offers almost out of the box. So we built something that you, like you can see here in this uh, screenshot, it's a, a recruiting application that allows you to manage the current job uh, offers that you have. Uh, and then you can, you know, check how many job offers are available, how many of them uh, needs uh, resources to be fulfilled, and uh, you know, and then you can also manage the how you bet uh, your candidates, like meaning if they go through interviews or if they are going through the legal, uh, you know, paperwork, signing NDA agreements or contracts or all this stuff, until you know this person is hired, finally hired, you know, successfully and happily hired, and it becomes part of our company. Um, you know, and then you, we manage also this onboarding process, you know, because it is, you know, the, the recruitment process is not, it, it doesn't end just when you hire uh, someone, meaning that when you hire someone, it goes to another step. It's not a recruiting process, but it's also, you know, a, you know, employee branding, you know, uh, process, you know, to keep people satisfied at your company. So that should be part of the HR, you know. So for, uh, you know, for to get started with this, uh, you know, process, the first touch point, right, or the first interaction that we get with our uh, candidate pool or even with uh, our audience, right, is uh, lead forms. Uh, we are actually using Mautic uh, forms almost everywhere in our digital touch touch points uh, we use them also in uh, mobile applications any kind of other services that we have actually we also use integrations with crm uh, you know and our recruiting platform to uh, keep track of every single uh, interaction that that we get from our audience this is just an example in our website, the one of the multi forms where we get some insights of the visitors. Uh, we, we have others in our recruitment, job boards, and, uh, you know, and the job, ad job advertisement. So for our uh, talent uh, pool, uh, we have an extensive database of all the people that contact us uh, you know, demanding uh, a job, and now with the current COVID situation, a lot of people got uh, sadly unemployed, um, and uh, you know the demand, uh, you know, raised uh, considerably. So, so we we notice, uh, you know, from March, April this year, more or less, how the demand was increasing until a really, really high peak. Uh, almost before the summer. Uh, now we are seeing that the numbers are also, you know, during the summer there's some break, you know, for some people go on vacation. But now we notice that there is, the numbers are raising. So we have this JuGeek uh, platform. This is uh, where we have uh, almost all, all our uh, vetted and curated and validated uh, talent pool of, um, uh, developer not just developers but the uh, IT professionals we have also designers project managers and, and any kind of you know uh, data scientists and so on so here is more or less where we do the selection vetting uh, and more or less the you know all the all the magic you know so how our campaigns uh, work uh, we, we define different stages in Mautic. 
where you know uh, people go through the process of uh, you know from the first touch point meaning that it can be a contact form or it, it can be also clicking in a call to action in a landing page i mean uh, depending on, on the on the nature of the of the campaign uh, we use different uh, we use different elements um even uh, links uh, like with some uh, UTM uh, you know uh, codes to to also help the, with the segmentation so this is a quick sample of, of, of one of our campaigns uh, uh, this is uh, how we select I mean it's briefly how we select when we send an email if the email is open or if it's not open uh, if someone clicks somewhere in the email so then you can see that we use uh, properly multi tags to you know to categorize uh, the the visitor you know and then understand uh, why this person is interacting with our brand uh, what's the meaning uh, you know of the interaction um, and and how we can support this demand because every time that a uh, song of your audience uh, contacts you or interacts with your brand there is a reason behind that right so anytime that someone visits uh, your website someone fills a form that you have in your website downloads a brochure white paper or even you know opens the your uh, online chat or live chat uh, and you know try to reach you out on the live chat you know uh, there is a reason behind that that's why we are always you know behind the you know uh, supporting this kind of demands and, and that's the thing and, and the, the more that you automate this kind of request the better because then uh, with the different time zones and so on, it's really difficult to have people 24-7 answering emails or answering uh, live chats, uh, you know, requests. So automation is key, and for that, Mautic is the, one of the best platforms, uh, given the flexibility and the level of uh, customization that you can have, uh, be, you know, because of the, the, the power of open source solutions, right? So starting our campaign, this is how we differentiate the different steps, uh, you know, through our recruiting process. So the first one is, uh, you know, confirmation on the data request. I mean, there can be like different, you know, different ways that people come, you know, try to reach you out. Uh, Sometimes they are just spam bots, right? Or sometimes they are like, like just fake, uh, you know, uh, data that people fill on the form because they just want to download a white paper and they say, ah, I'm gonna fill it with this, you know. So the 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 the, the thing is that you always have to confirm, you know, this data if this data is valid or not because if not, your database is gonna be full of noise something that we that we don't want right we really want to store good data valuable data not just you know random you know testing or dummy stuff right so for this what we do is if the person name or email is not correct we just send the person to, you know to another form where we can validate part of the information or we can ask for additional information from the person usually for job seekers uh, you know probably we have the email of the person but we don't have the phone number and sometimes you really want to have the phone number for example you know to discuss stuff ad hoc and immediately you know if the person is available or not and then you need an immediate confirmation if the person has a visa to travel you know this kind of things then we, what we do is we, in this uh, additional form where we want really want to confirm the name email or whatever of the other details that you need uh, is that uh, you ask also for additional information like the phone and then when everything is ready uh, or the data is confirmed uh, we go to the categorization process so in the step two uh, categorization process uh, as you can see uh, we have like a, a color scheme and also a, a color and some category uh, 
categories that where we put uh, you know or candidates giving their creative or technology or business skills this is how we divided uh, the skill set probably is not the best of the best but at least it is aligned with our current demand and also with our current pool of, of talent in our database so this kind of segmentation help at, helped us uh, you know to define different uh, flows for our candidates you know it's not, it's not the same when you are trying to hire a creative person uh, or like a create a hiring a developer right or, or some engineer or hiring some sales person you know like or someone uh, you know a manager or so in this case you, you you had to be really you had to talk to people you know the right way right I mean I I, I don't think that you talk the same way to uh, one of uh, C level people or a sales manager than they're talking to a developer right it's like it's not the same language it's not the same message you know it's totally different that's that's one of the reasons we wanted to have a proper segmentation of our talent pool this is what we got uh, meaning that on the on the right side this uh, small blocks uh this actually comes let me go back a little bit uh, so in in Jugic, probably later i'm gonna show you a a demo of how Jugic works, uh, uh, but uh, when you when you search for talent, the talent it appears in these boxes that they have these uh, small uh, cubes, you know, in the, these three colors, you know, a la, you know, one on top of the others, giving you the the, the score in these uh, three uh, segments. Uh, so me the senior developer with five years experience and a diamond i can explain the diamond later but then he has two creative uh, skills like two boxes and then he has uh, five boxes of technology and uh, three boxes of on business skills so then you more or less understand that this uh, developer is not creative but it's a li it has an, a little bit of business understanding and it's a really is really good in in, in, in technology, it's a hardcore developer, right? So this is how we do the categorization. Then we have landing pages. We have different surveys. They have quest questionnaires. Uh, we have even, you know, different kind of job offers, of, of, of course, to this kind of person in this segment. And there is always a bucket for other, right? It's uh, always a, a place where you say, okay, I don't know how to categorize this person. Then uh, well, let's put it in others uh, bucket and uh, let's think about that later, right? And this is where we are, right? It's like, uh, we don't really know who this person is, or at least it's not matching these three segments. So let's give, let's give, the, give this person a new survey and let's get more information about the, the, the talent, you know, the different talents that this person has. And um, yeah, that's what, what we are actually working on. And um, you know, as long as we have enough amount of data uh, with these answers, probably we will create another segment and with another color, right? But at the moment, we are satisfied with these three. We want to keep things simple. Uh, we really, you know, prefer to, 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 to verify that the process works with these three simple categories. And then we can move on, you know, in. Um, more complex, you know, we can complicate it later, not now. So in this case, the categorization through surveys uh, and, and using multic tags and segments and, you know, the forms, we usually do this kind of questions, like uh, they are properly, you know, usual, uh, a part of your name or the email or phone number. Uh, we ask also, are you available to work? Are you looking? For a new job what kind of job you're looking for like a remote on site what kind of technology so this, this is beneficial and you know um, the, the work areas of interest we are working on that as well because at the moment it doesn't represent of the, all the areas we really want to be more selective meaning that we are going to use segments for the large uh, you know segmentation in creative technology and business you know buckets uh, but then we want to use multi tax to verify if a person like a technical person is more or less a front-end developer back-end 
or if a business person is more um, you know manager level project manager or maybe it's more into sales you know so this these are the things that really we really want to 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 get in so uh, we are still revamping or you know tax uh, and also you know trying to verify if we can just add additional segments so the through the segmented uh, job offers this is how we uh, you know let's say uh, send uh, curated job offers to our audience or talent pool uh, you know, all these job offers, they have a short time frame, meaning that, you know, you have to fulfill these positions in a matter of one, two weeks top, as, as usual, you know, the, when do you need this? It is for yesterday, uh, you know, and then you have to put a lot of people to work, you know, because, you know, this recruit, recruitment is a really tedious uh, work. Um, so automation is key uh, again uh, and this is uh, what we do uh, through the you know align, uh, alignment of uh, you know segment and tax uh, through or curated selection so all our job offers are also categorized you know using the same uh, kind of uh, segmentation that we use in Mautic meaning that there is a one-to-one -one in segments there is a one-to-one -one in tax meaning that they, we more or less understand who which person is the right person for the job right um, in this case you know uh, Mautic help us, you know, to track uh, how the person initiated the contact and how the person ended up the contact or not or how, or how much better how the, the process of, you know, contact uh, ended up, you know, we, we really want to know what happened with this person, if the person was uh, selected for the job or he was not selected. And, uh, and you know, even if he was higher, how the you know how it was the you know the the process, and you know, uh, and and if the person was working for one year, you know, how was you know this 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 experience? So here we know when the contact was created, identified, and you know, it was he went through for different campaigns that we have running, and then you know that this person can be a backend developer and. You know, and then we we run some email campaigns for the campaigns so for this person to receive all the job offers for November uh, 2020 uh, regarding uh, back backend junior developer. I guess is this one. I don't know actually the naming conventions they're using, but I guess it's this backend junior developer, right? And then is the onboarding process. No, after you know uh, sending bazillions of uh, you know job offers, person can select. Oh, I'm really suitable for this job. The person is interviewed. Uh, is uh, we're happy with this person. Is higher. So then we also use Mautic uh, for the uh, onboarding process. So at the moment we are still piloting different campaigns, but uh, more or less what we do is we do a welcome email with all the instructions for the person to know how to log in in our uh, internal chat system. Uh, it's not a Slack, it's a, we're using actually Rocket Chat. Uh, so he said that we are embracing open source solutions. Rocket Chat is the, one of the, you know, uh, open, source, uh, open source alternatives to Slack, so we really want to use it. We also give access to the email and then we also give access to the different platforms, you know, for time tracking, project management, project management, we use GitLab, it works really well, but, you know, content repositories, code repositories, the digital assets management platform, I mean, all these platforms, you know, there's a welcome email with all these instructions, like, uh, and also some follow-up emails, you know, maybe the first week of work, we, 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 we are, you know, trying to define that the first week of, of work uh, when you join a new company is really important to feel welcome, it's really important to feel part of the company, to share some, you know, 
also to, to, to let the people to share some some of their feelings and you know how the experience was during the onboarding you know usually onboarding processes take almost one month like four weeks for in some large organizations i used to work on so we really want to reduce this to one week you know and through this kind of follow-up emails is really helpful and then probably you know we want to do some follow-ups uh, uh, every quarter you know meaning hey, how was your first quarter you know also we have an online uh, e-learning platform um, uh, based on Drupal, is a Drupal distribution called Opinio. It's a learning management system built on top of Drupal. Also, we, we are using it, you know, in order to put a documentation, like internal, internal documentation related to onboarding, meaning that a person can join, you know, this platform and can learn how to, let's say, set up the company's email in their smartphone, for example, then there can be an online training about that with quick uh, tutorials, video tutorials, you know, and actually, you know, one of your colleagues explaining that. So it's, re it's really, you know, uh, friendly and, you know, and more, you feel more close to the people when you see this kind of online trainings from your own colleagues. So this is where we truly believe that the onboarding process will be more successful. Uh, every time there is a new, you know, tool, platform introduced on the company, you know, it's really good to do these training sessions. We organize online training sessions, we record them, then you edit them properly, and then you just create some video tutorials around it. And actually, we do that with our own products as well. So it's really cool, you know, to have your own, our own LMS, you know, your own learning management system, you know, in house. And uh, yeah, and why not sending job anniversaries and birthday emails? This is always good, right? I mean, uh, really, uh, you know, there are a lot of companies doing that already, but you, you always have a real, a, a small smile when, you know, you receive, even if it's an automated email, but at least, you know, a machine, you know, re re remembers your <laughs> birthday or when you get your first year. Uh, you know, working in the in a new company, so you know, usually it's like, oh, one year already. Oh, come on, time flies, right? Cool. So what next? Uh, so uh, a part of you know uh, this uh, you know way of uh, managing you know the recruitment and onboarding process uh, at Drupal. You know, we don't want to stick to emails you know sms or social media so we truly believe that there is something more uh you know far away you know so in this case we want to in introduce gamification gamification in the sense not just you know loyalty points you know or you know you have to collect good points or karma points or you know no, I mean, Mautic has a really, really good point system where you can just uh, uh, trigger some actions or, you know, uh, depending on the amount of points that you collect. I mean, in that uh, when you uh, fill a form, then you get uh, 100 points. When you download a white paper, you get 500 points. And then when you click on a link, you get uh, another 100. And then when you get 1,000 uh, points, uh, then you immediately are a lead or qualified uh, lead. Uh, uh, and then you, you are sent to the CRM or you are sent to a, a specific segment. And then someone from the sales department will call you, or maybe we are gonna send you a brochure or a coupon, a coupon maybe, you know, with a 10% discount, I don't know. Uh, that's not the gamification we want to do. So we are even considering video games as part of the betting process, uh, meaning that instead doing a um, job interview, you know, through a video conference call, we are actually piloting the idea of doing the interview on a video game. It can be a virtual reality simulation. It can be a simple, you know, brain game, you know, with some, you know, 
that requires some skill sets, you know, where you can also, you know, get even more valuable insights about the person behind, you know, the screen, you know, so they saw persons that they have really good photographic memory or people that they have, uh, uh, let's say that they work really well under stress or people that they are really creative and, you know, they can see some stuff on the, you know, in a picture that not other people can see. I don't know, we are still, you know, working with neuro neuroscience uh, uh, experts, uh, you know, that they, 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 they truly believe that the, the, there is some traits, personality traits that can be associated uh, to the way that you play video games or the kind of video games that you play. So this is regarding the gamification. So again, it's not just these loyalty points or point karma collection. Now we're talking about something else. Um, we are planning, as I mentioned, more segmented campaigns. We really need to improve the onboarding process. Uh, you know, this is this is exactly you know what what we are working on. And you know, luckily, Mautic three was released. And it adds a lot of more benefits, you know, for us, you know, to continue expanding on this direction. Mm, yeah, uh, questions. I mean, I can go directly to questions, but I want to show you first uh, quickly the Jugic uh, demo. Uh, as I mentioned, you know, this is our talent pool where, you know, you can just search for talent. You know, sadly, if we look for Mautic, we don't have any Mautic experts. <laughs> sadly, I will have a look. But for example, for Drupal, we have a few of them. Um, this is the thing. Uh, we, we are using, as I mentioned, uh, these three colors. So this is the creative color uh, and, or the creative um, skill set. Um, this is the um, technical, this is the business. Then you have some of the, you know, tags that we use, meaning that we know which kind of technology this person, and then this person is fully available now, uh, location, and also, you know, some of them, they are waiting for confirmation from the person. So there's another automated email where you say, hey, there is uh, some job offers really suitable for you. Can you confirm that you're available to work and in which location? So this is the way that we are getting more information, okay? And uh, what else? Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I can go through our Mautic installation, but um, the, the thing is that that was actually the that was actually the demo that I was salut planning to do. If I do it, I'm gonna ruin it. So it's better that I stick to the plan <laughs> and don't do it. So if you want, we can jump into the questions. If you have any. Or, or, or if I know how this works, actually. Uh, give me a sec. Sorry. Yeah, so um, actually, folks, if you look, um, if you're in the conferencing software, there's a tab uh, for questions. Or if not, I've just put up the slide here so you can go to the, the link or scan the QR code. So I'll just give people a couple of minutes to do that. And um, yeah, ask away. Great. Thank you, Greg, for the support. <laughs> That's OK. I'll just leave that slide up there for a few seconds. Um, as I say, you can also get to this from uh, from the uh, session five questions tab, and you'll mm. see the video. In. Mm -hmm. Cool. And anyway, you know, people can reach me out in uh, in uh, any kind of social media. I mean, you can go to uh, Twitter or LinkedIn or whatever. Oh, as this here, uh, you can go to. Arte Yero, you know, or you can send me a message on our uh, website as well. Uh, I mean, as I mentioned, uh, drupalgroup.com, this, this is a Mautic form. Uh, you can just send a message, you know, and then you can reach me out. So <laughs> even via so, Mautic form, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, uh, you know, uh, we started as a small digital agency and now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven companies, you know, and, you know, each one dedicated to their own, 
you know, less, uh, specific segment or market. And, you know, one of the ones that I feel really proud of is Geodata. So we are actually uh, connected or uh, talent, you know, this talent pool is fed uh, with uh, machine learning algorithms uh, created by our data teams. Um, so at the moment we are using Neo4j as a graph database to create the, the graph uh, of, the, of the talent pool that we have that help us, you know, to understand the, the, the relationships, you know, between our talent and the technologies, projects, companies. So that's, that usually helps, you know, for the search. So if you are looking for a talent, you know, not just a Java developer, but, uh, you know, in the advanced search, you can look for location. And even if you provide information about the company, uh, you know, where or the project about this person, where this person should work, we, can, we have also, if the person provided their CV, we have also their experience, job experience, then we can always relate people that they already work in this company previously or not, or in the area. So at the moment we are working in the UAE, uh, in the Middle East, and then uh, there is some regulations there a little bit strict, then that help us, you know, to find the right people for, for, for this uh, market region. Hmm. I was really interesting what you were saying about um, gamification in recruitment as well. I've never heard that. Oh. Before, but, uh, it's a great <laughs> idea. <laughs> I mean, there, there are a couple of there are a couple of uh, you know um, areas where we are researching with video games. One of them is you know the the personality traits um, and you know and there there are online tests you know that they will give you some insights about your personality traits. Maybe this is a little bit of topic, but I don't remember. It was like sixteen personalities. Yeah, this one. So this, this is actually, you know, to do some personality tests, right? And then this, uh, you know, gives you, you know, which person you are um, between analysts, diplomats, sentinels, explorers, you know. So it's really good because it's actually open source. These 16 personalities is based off on some, you know, public paper. Uh, I don't remember where was this, uh, but somewhere here they have some paper where you can, you know, see how, how this was done. And this is actually really cool, but it's just a survey, right? It's a questionnaire. So in this case, there is people, you know, trying to do uh, personality traits through um, video games. So you just play a video game and they, they will get even 90 personality traits. I don't remember the company now. I will have to Google a little bit, but uh, there is one company if I Google 90 personality traits games, I guess I will find it. Uh, or maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I don't know. Uh, yeah, something, something. The name was easy to remember, but I'm the worst reminding. Remembering <laughs> stuff. It was like, uh, I don't remember. I, w I will share it, you know as long as I find it. But uh, yeah, that's the thing. I mean, in this case, is, that's the case. Uh, through video games, you can see if people are, you know, uh, let's say they really work under pressure or if they are really good, uh, you know, at uh, remember, like memory, photographic memory and these kind of things, right? Uh, mm. And on the other hand, there is a, a variant that is uh, serious games for training. So, as I mentioned, we have an online platform uh, for e-learning, and we are considering also doing e-learning through video games, like t teaching people stuff through a virtual simulation. So, yeah, ambitious, you know, future. Uh, I mean, good thing we have a lot of, you know, a lot of audience at the moment, and there's a lot of people now, you know, really looking on the, you know, technology, you know, you know, now technology became, let's say, really, really um, necessary for the population. Even my father, you know, my mother, they're using actively video conferences and like video calls, you yeah. know, almost daily. So, you know, a lot of people is embracing technology more and more. So for me, I really see virtual reality, augmented reality, the next step, because people will embrace it the same way that they embrace it, the video calls. 
nowadays. Yeah. It will be interesting to see how it, it, it changes experiences like this as well, like online meetings and, and things like that, the more the more the mm. VR comes into houses and, and so on. Mm. So. Hopefully, <laughs> next Multicon in a virtual reality environment. You, know. <laughs> Hopefully. You, can, uh, you can wear the diving helmet and everything. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Well, we've been we've been about we've been about five minutes, and nobody's uh, asking any questions. So either I've done no some problem. which is entirely possible, in which case I apologise to all of you, uh, or, or or people were just so happy with the presentation they didn't need to ask anything. But well, as Ruben said, he's available in Slack or on Twitter or, or via uh, his website. So feel free to yes. look him up. And um, yeah, thank you very much, Ruben. <laughs> thank you, Greg. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you, everyone. And keep enjoying uh, Multicon. There is a lot of exciting, exciting uh, speakers and sessions, even keynotes. So stick to it. OK? Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> OK. Um, there's going to be a short break now. Um, and I believe things restart at around um, 6 p.m. UK time. So that'll be 7 p.m. for people on European time. And uh, yeah, I shall uh, uh, put up our intermission video um, to keep you entertained and amused. And uh, we'll see you all later. Thank you. <laughs>